Steve, quick reflection on Tuesday night. Yeah, listen, uh, to beat a full strength Watford side, um, albeit on penalties, but to beat them and compete with them over probably 100 minutes again, 105 minutes, whatever they had the time amounted to, um, then justified their performance, really. It was um, really talented Watford side to come here, the control proceedings for the first 15, 16, 17 minutes. Really comfortable, scored, looked as if it would be a, a very comfortable evening. We changed that a little bit around. People were reminded about the job they were asked to do in their pre-match planning and we did that. And then it's no secret, if anything, we're the, we're the better team to very late. They have a couple of chances late, which the goalkeeper produces two good saves. Um, but over the piece, um, I think we should maybe just, just a bit nicked it, but we obviously went in penalty. So we, we go through and, um, you know, it's just about the manner of the performance that pleased us most. Yeah, I was just going to say, it, it must have really pleased you the way that the players turned it around. But these were all players as well that hadn't featured perhaps on Saturday, just come in and it was a little bit like last season with that kind of seamless look. Yeah, it's very much so. We, what we've always said, Steve, is if you sign in the first team group here, you're, you're capable of playing in any game. And we meant that and we changed that around last year and it was successful for us and we kept certain departments or key departments fresh to us at different times and that'll be a strategy we, we go with again because in reality we have a small squad. You know, I hear a manager post-game last night in the Carabao Cup talking about he's got four and five injuries. It's travesty. He wants to be in our camp with five subs on the bench in the Carabao Cup against against a full-strength Watford. So, but I've always said we'll continue to focus on the players that we have available for selection and monitor and mirror and encourage the players that we've not. But, but overall, it's to lose a goal so early, you know, four or five minutes in, to have the reaction that we did, to play with the way we did, to play with that passion and commitment as well, some real good abilities. Then the players were very deserving of the ones that the Watford Gaffer gave them. You know, he was very complimentary, him and his staff, afterwards to us, and not only us, to the press. So we, we'll take those kind words and then we'll quite rightfully uh, refocus now back on Shrewsbury on Saturday. Just quickly, the draw after the games last night, of course, and uh, well, you asked for a home draw. <laughs> you got far from that. Yeah, listen, we, we're against a, cl a club in League One. I think Gary would have probably preferred someone else. We'd have preferred something else. We'd have preferred to be at home. He's got that advantage to him. But listen, the, the nature of the cup is, I, I remember back in my days at Crawley in the Magical Cup run year, when um, we'd just beaten, I think it was three championship clubs and then drew Torquay away. And we were like, <laughs> Torquay were top of League Two. We were top of the National League. We went to Torquay and we went and we drew Man United. So, so from that point of view, it's the cup is the cup and you take what comes. It's a long way to go. Um, but we'll go there and prepare properly. But we're only focused at the minute, Shrewsbury. It's a, it's a bit of a bogey club for Steve Ridge as well, extra 17 years, I think, since the last victory down there. It's almost a little bit like the Northampton scenario. Yeah, there's been a lot of clubs in 18 months recently that's uh, been bogey teams too. There's no longer bogey teams. <laughs> so, listen, I've got great respect for the manager. He's he's a good friend of mine, Gary. He's he's done an amazing job since he went in Exeter. Not many people tipped him for the job when he got it. I thought he'd do very well. I speak to him regular. He's done very well. He's recruited really well. Um, you know, the win was relative ease against a Crawley side on Tuesday. So we we know extra and isolation will be will be hard work. But first and foremost, we got three league fixtures before then, and that's four four fixtures, league fixtures. And that's the only focus. Shrewsbury Saturday. What do you know about them? Tough, new group. Obviously Matty Taylor's got a big second bite at Jerry. Um, I think he's deserving. I think he was perhaps um, lost his job far too quickly at Walsall. Uh, he's waited patiently. I know he's good friends with Alex Ravel. He's gone about doing his work really well. And listen, they've got some talented people now. It, it shows me Mickey has gone in as, as director of football and taken to charge a lot of football, brought young Matty in and got good staff around him. More important that the recruitment's been the recruitment's been classy. It's obviously cost them a few quid, but there's no doubt the commitment and the passion and the finance given to by the chairman down there, Roland, he's a man of no, totally respect, meet up with him normally when we go. And um, it'll, be a, it'll be a tough game here on Saturday for sure. Obviously they played Wednesday, um, so you got an extra day on them, so to speak. Yeah, it sounds great. Um, but they got an extra day to recover from last Saturday. We did so and we played Watford. Um, Hey, listen, it's um, their game at Ellen Road last night. We'll have no 
bearing on what happens here on Saturday in Netherwell as against Watford. It's it's another education for us. This is a really established League One club now, Shrewsbury. I think they, they get little recognition for that, but it, considering the size of clubs in League One now, I think that's great testament to them the tick in the box. Mm-hmm. Um, so from our point of view, this is a like it was last week with we, Northampton. I think they'll be an established League, League One club down to John. And I think Shrewsbury are. So it's, it's another benchmark test for us, as was Watford. And um, we'll see where we go. But we, we'll try and be competitive. We'll try and be in the game. And we'll try and get three points. If we get three points, it's, it's just been the most fantastic week to start a new season. You suggested, obviously, that uh, there was several knocks picked up on Tuesday night. How is the squad looking? Well, it, we've got some issues. We've got some difficulties in terms of personnel. We Nothing that's major long-term, but there might be two or three struggling for the, for the weekend. Maybe one or two back. Um, but we'll we'll regroup today. You see the boys are in about the building now, so we'll regroup today. Have a good look at the the numbers. But I think we demonstrated on Tuesday night. It doesn't matter how we play. We'll we'll be playing our way. We'll be, we'll be playing, trying to win the game. We'll be passionate, and we'll need the vocal support that we've had at Northampton and we've had against Watford on Tuesday, which the fans more than played a part. So once again, it'll be Team Stevenage, which includes everyone from Stevenage. You see the likes of Elliot List, who's obviously been out long term um, is it a case with these players that they're probably fit but you just want to make sure that they're 100% not 99% yeah it's, it's 100% you know it's um, with Elliot he's, he's missed a year of football so we have to be sure when he when he comes back in rather than coming and training for day or two and having a little issue nothing to do with it with the ACL that he went out with nothing to do with that but when you come back from a year out of doing anything you have little niggles and little strains a lot of things that annoy you around the rest of your body and nearly is one of those players that has to play 100% he can't because he's so quick he's so powerful mm. he can't play it 97, 98 we've got other lads probably 15 in the group that I could say if they're 90 plus percent they just go out and play but you can't go out and play if you're one of those lads that has to be 100% so Elliot's that, that close I could touch the pen to put him on the team sheet but you know we'll, we'll be not rushing him for sure I guess with an ACL as well, with somebody like Elliot, that plays on the mind, doesn't it? But he's had a couple of pre-season games, so he's probably managed to get that out of it. Well, that's gone. This is this is just after effects of a long-term injury. It doesn't matter if it's an ACL or mm. you can have a dislocated shoulder, be out for four months. When you come back, you maybe feel a calf, you maybe feel an Achilles. It's nothing that mm. that's that's going to be wholly detrimental. But what we don't want to do, we could have, we could have taken a chance on Watford. We can take a chance on Zartley. I think we've got a small group but we'll get too many players within a small group to worry about having to take a chance with an individual and we know what, when Elliot does come back and he shakes off these wee niggles and knocks then he's he'll be absolutely fine he'll be, he'll be a big player for us keep saying that you still looking to build the squad yeah so we're very close with a couple now you know how close we are I'll, I'll get a catch up with Leon after training today I've done my bits met players spoke to players spoke to clubs spoke to managers um <laughs> And and then it becomes decisions because as as we've demonstrated we are in and we demonstrated with Finley you know there was there was more clubs in my, in my golf bag there was more clubs in for those two players and I've got every every golf club going so there was there was more clubs in for them but um, and it'll be the same with the two lads that we're speaking to we understand they'll have options it doesn't always fall in our favour but we hope it does like like it did with Aaron and, and Finley and I think our supporters when it came on. The game to Northampton and certainly came on Tuesday night. The, the home supporters would have been interested to see how those two did and oh, I thought both were exceptional. And obviously the fans are going to know, how's the skipper missed out on Tuesday night? Yeah, well, he's, I think he's annoyed at that. I, just, <laughs> I think he was annoyed he had to sit and watch a big man. And, you know, Carl's that big a bloke and that fierce at times when you meet the corner that looks at you. Now, even I jump into cupboards and uh, <laughs> if I can get in, that is. But... Um, no, Carl, Carl will be fit for selection. It's, it's hopefully most of all, we're, we're just not going to take any risks with two games a week now. You know, going through in a Carabao makes it two games a week for the for the foreseeable future, really. And we are that club that hopes to get through that period and settle it down to one game a week. And I've always said that the league tables take a long way to turn when it's one game a week. It's been some ride in the fans. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Is Steve Evans enjoying things? Yeah, I love it. I think I'm very fortunate to go about the town and um, the supporters are all too kind to me but when I come I said it was a, it was going to be a bit of a project under, under the chairman it was, it was 
I never picked his job to, to come in every year in six months or a year. Of, you know, I could have picked other jobs higher up the pyramid that you think, well, if I don't win the first three games, I could be gone. Mm. And you only need to look at how football works these days. You you need to win football matches. And um, I've been very fortunate that I work for a chairman and a board that, that give me full control in the, in the football matters. And um, and that always gives us a chance of winning games. But without the support, I've always said, every club, you look at Northampton support on Saturday, arrived for a cheer and festive, almost, if you like, want to win, lose, leave disappointed, but, but they'll be back this weekend. It's it's what football does with, with supporters. I've always said managers, players, owners to a degree, not Phil, Wallace, but owners, come and go. What never comes and goes, supporters. It's life. Did you envisage that you'd get, you know, you'd be where you are now after, well, less than 18 months? Um, yes, I did, actually. <laughs> I did. When I met the chairman, I said, well, they the first issue is about how we get out of League Two at the top end because we were never going to get relegated the minute you appointed me. That just was not going to happen. And then, thanks to him and thanks to Leon, I think they're the unsung heroes and all of this, the chairman and the board, and the board have been terrific, provide the guidance and the strategy and, and the finance. And Leon goes to work on that side. My job is easier just to sell the, the football uh, option or the, or the football um, vision, if you like, for these individual players. and come together as a team but I thought we'd be in League One but we all know the size of clubs in League One we don't get carried away here every three points we get is a is a big big three points towards the magical number we need to know that we're going to be League One as a minimum 